shocked that the smooths were stopped, Hidia forces Rika and Drago to admit that they didn't get the flume. In her rage, she sends her two daughters back to get the missing ingredient. Rika and Drago climb the highest spire of the Black Mountains, and in a hair-raising struggle, manage to defeat the octopus-like flume plant and collect enough liquid flume to bring back to Hidia. Hidia pours the flume into the smooths and brings it back to life. Now it is stronger than before. Meanwhile, Megan, Wind Whistler, and Fizzy go to see a magic man, the Moo Chick, to see if he can help them find their friends. I hope the Moo Chick's home. Mr. Moo Chick! Mr. Moo Chick! Mr. Moo Chick! Are you in there? That's odd. The Moochik never leaves the safe confines of his mushroom. I'm sure he's here somewhere. He has to be here. Maybe he's here, but he doesn't want to see us. And who, may I ask, are all of you? I'm known as Wind Whistler. And I'm Fizzy. We're little ponies. And I'm Megan. My, my, what a funny-looking little pony you are, Megan. <laughs> I'm not a little pony, Mr. Moochik. Don't you remember us? You are from outside the mushroom, right? Right, and the little ponies need your help. Not again. <laughs> you do remember. How could I forget? You gave us the rainbow of light. It worked, I presume. It worked great, but it's gone now. The smooths got it. Do you have another one? Oh my, oh my, oh my. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm afraid there is no more rainbow of light. <laughs> what a shame. And the smooths covered over Dream Castle, too. The little ponies have no place to live. Well, that's ridiculous. Absurd. Everyone has to have a place to live. Home is where the heart is. It's where you hang your hat. Without a home, you're nowhere. And nowhere's no place to be at. Precisely, Mr. Moochik. But what do you propose we do about it? Why, there's only one thing to do. You have to find a home. You can't live without a home. Why, everybody has to have a home. And I've got one to suit you to a tea. <laughs> it's this darling little villa in Capri. Lots of closet space and overlooks the sea. Uh, Mr. Moochie, it's very sweet of you to offer, but I don't think that's exactly what the little ponies had in mind. No, but goodness me, they have to find a home. How about the Hippodrome? It used to be quite popular in Rome. Or why not do what Cleopatra did? And buy a nice Egyptian pyramid. Take a look, I guarantee you'll flip your lid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's terrific. There's no doubt it's quite wonderful, Mr. Moochik, but we couldn't possibly live there. My, my. You certainly are picky little ponies. <laughs> um, let me see. How about a teepee? How about an igloo? How about a treehouse made completely from bamboo? I knew a woman once lived in a shoe. All right, I know it simply isn't you. You need a place to dwell. The Taj Mahal is swell. Or maybe you'd prefer a swag hotel. Or how about a palace like Versailles? Well, I really don't know what I ought to try. You're looking for some castle in the sky. We truly apologize for being so difficult, Mr. Moochik, but Dream Castle was rather special. Yeah, it's not so easy to replace, but you can do it, I know you can. You see, Mr. Moochik, to the little ponies, Dream Castle was like, like a little bit of heaven. Heaven? Well, I'm afraid you little ponies had better come back down to Earth. You have to find a home. How about the Asperdome? Or something futuristic made of chrome? I'm sorry, but if you want my advice, you'll simply have to make a sacrifice. I know the home you had was very nice, but what you're looking for is paradise. We'll take it. It's paradise. Oh, thank you. It's, it's paradise. paradise. Oh, it's beautiful, Mr. Mochik. The 
Paradise Estate is exactly what we were looking for. We're very grateful, Mr. Moochick. But what about the smooths? What if the witches make more? Oh, well, that's a problem, yes. Mm. It's very difficult to stop the smooths. Maybe even impossible. Oh, but we were counting on you, Mr. Moochick. We presumed you knew everything. I do know everything, my flying four-legged friend. Uh, the only ones who can stop the smooths are, um... Uh, are, uh... Are, uh... Of course! The flutter ponies. Where are they? Yes, well, well uh, they're not easy to find. Can you give us a clue? Anything. We'll find them. Hmm? Oh, you're in luck. This ancient map will show you the way to Flutter Valley, the home of the flutter ponies. But don't tell them I gave it to you. They don't like to be bothered. We won't be the word, Mr. Moochick. Promise. <laughs> off, off, off you go, off you go. Time is short. Take your map and your paradise estate, and good luck to you. You've already given us good luck, Mr. Moochick. Bye-bye. Thanks. As the smooth rolls across Ponyland, it traps Baby Lickety Split and Spike behind a waterfall. There, they meet the Grundles. Tiny, ugly creatures. Their kingdom, Grundleland, was destroyed by the Smooths at an earlier time. Let's listen in as Baby Lickety Split and Spike make their way through the dark cave behind the waterfall. Another tunnel. We'll never get out of here, Spike. Ah, uh, we'll be out of here in two flicks of a dragon's tail. You'll see. I'm scared. Oh, don't be. I'll protect you. What was that? Don't be frightened. Watch your hurry. Have no fear. Not to worry. Sorry to alarm you. Grundles won't harm you. Grundles? How do we know you won't harm us? We thought you were some kind of monsters. Grundles good. They still look like monsters to me. Is what everyone thinks. But Grundles not monsters. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles, good. Grundles, good. Yeah. Grundles small. Grundles nice. Grundles also quite concise. Grundles don't waste words. It's wasting words for the birds. People stunned, often scared. Eating Grundles unprepared. Grundles are misunderstood. Grundles need. Grundles gentle. Grundles sweet. And sentimental. Grundles hug you, never bug you. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles good. Grundles are misunderstood. Take a shot. Take a quite good. Grundles not. As we're painted. Grundles love all. And, and above, above all. Grundles, Grundles good. good. Grundles good. good. Grundles good. Using an enchanted map given to them by the Moochick, Megan, Wind Whistler, Magic Star, Danny and Molly make it through a maze of giant sunflowers, overcome an earthquake caused by the Smooths, and even survive a trip through the frightening Shadow Forest. In the meantime, Liggety Split, Spike and their new friends, the Grundles, have an adventure of their own as they too outrun the Smooths. Stopping by a wishing well, Lickety Split starts to cry. But soon she discovers Morning Glory, a tiny flutter pony who is trapped in the well. Gee, if only I hadn't run away, none of this would have happened to me. You bring Grundle King! That's true, but we're lost. Your tail smoothed, and it's all my fault. If only somebody could help me! Help me! Hey, wait! Maybe you can wish away the smooths. That's not a wishing well. It can't help. Can't hurt. 
Go ahead, lickety split, make your wish. Who knows? Maybe it'll change things. I don't know. There's an awful lot to change. No one's in a fix like I am. I am. No one has the luck I do. I do. No one had the setbacks I have. I have. Look where life has led me to. Me to. Nothing I can see can help me. Help me. And with all that we've come through. Come through. I wish this was a dream so I could wake up. Wake up. But what good will wishing do? Ah, uh, come on, lickety split. Make a real wish. Feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to improve the situation. I can't help it. Everything looks so hopeless. Nothing I can see can help me. Help me. Somebody will save you. I wish there was some cozy little in here. In here. But what good will wishing do? It might make your dream come true. Grateful for being rescued from the well, Morning Glory takes Lickety Split, Spike, and the Grundles to her home in Flutter Valley. Meanwhile, following the map, Megan and her friends also reach Flutter Valley. It's almost time for a reunion. Oh, it's unbelievable! I never dreamed anything could be so beautiful! Look at all the flutter ponies! There's so many of them! But they're not very big! How can they stop the smooths? Let's find out! Where'd they all go? Maybe they're afraid of us! Maybe they don't want us here! Hello? We're not here to hurt you, flutter ponies! We need your help! Up there! I am Rose Dust, the queen of the Flutter Ponies. Um, uh, I'm Megan, and and these are my friends, the little ponies. I heard you say you need our help. Oh, we do, Rose Dust. The smooths. We've been told that you're the only ones who can stop it. This is true. We have that power. Will you help us then? Try to understand. We wish only to be left alone. Then you won't help the little ponies? No. You have to help them, Rose Dust. Morning Glory. Lickety Split, Spike, I never thought we'd see you again. They need our help, Rose Dust. It's not our fight, Morning Glory. But it is. It's everybody's fight. Yeah, everybody has to help everyone else. I mean, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the Grundles. Greetings. Somebody has to stop the smooths. Please, Rose Dust. The little ponies don't have long to enjoy their new home, Paradise Estate. Soon it too is threatened by the smooths. The ponies huddle together on the roof as the smooths oozes towards them. The witches are laughing as they ride their smooths boats. The little ponies are finished! <laughs> will do the rest. What are we going to do? Everyone, close your eyes. Close them. That's it. Now I want you all to think of Megan and Magic Star and Fizzy and Wind Whistler. Now imagine a sky filled with flutter ponies. Do you see them? I don't see anything. Neither do I. I do. I do. What's that sound? It's them. They're coming. They're coming. Lickety Split, you're back. To help defeat the smooths, the flutter ponies flap their wings. They create a magic wind that pushes back the smooths. Shift to other flutter. Push back the smooths. In 
the process, the dream castle and the rainbow of light are both uncovered. The rainbow joins in the battle. It wraps up the witches, carries them back to the volcano, and drops them in. Put us down, rainbow, please! Put us down! No, put us down! Don't do that! No! Look what you've done. You and your smooth. Oh, it's all your fault, Mama. This is not my fault. Everything was working out fine. But Spike was worried about the smooth on his tail. Uh, Rose Dust, uh, before you leave, do you think maybe you could, uh, do something about this? <laughs> Certainly. Brace yourself. I always liked my tail. Thanks. No, oh, you one more thing. Do you think you could do anything about my friends, the Grundles? I'll need a little help for that. All the ponies tried to clean up the Grundles, too. Grundle Mump, what doing? Grundle's good. You're trying to take off the smooths, King. What smooths? Grundle's never smoothed. Kingdom smoothed, Grundle's not. What you see is what you got. Sorry, King. Well, personally, I think Grundles are not only good, Grundles are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, really neat. Grundle's good. And as thanks for saving Lickety Split, we want you to have Dream Castle. You can begin your kingdom again. You mean it? It's yours. We have Paradise Estate now. Grundle King touched. Having new kingdom better than vacation. Goodbye, little ponies. Goodbye. You sure gave us a scare, Rainbow. You keep it lickety-split. The Rainbow of Light belongs here, with the little ponies. I belong here, too. I can't think of a better place to be. Yeah, it's the best. My little pony, my little pony. Now comes the time to say goodbye. My little pony, my little pony. Could that be a teardrop in your eye? No need for sorrow. Tomorrow we'll be together again. My little pony, my little pony. Hope you keep smiling till then. I hope.